In this video we'll briefly discuss what is formoterol and how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, and contraindications and precautions. Formoterol is a long-acting bronchodilator. It stimulates beta-2 receptors in the lungs, leading to relaxation of bronchial smooth muscles, producing bronchodilation. So it is used in the long-term maintenance treatment of asthma, prevention of exercise-induced bronchospasm, concomitant therapy with short-acting beta-2 agonists, inhaled or systemic corticosteroids, and theophylline therapy, and for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It is available as 12 micrograms dry powder in capsules for inhalation, and 20 micrograms per 2 milliliters inhalation solution for nebulization. The usual dose for asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease for adults and children older than 5 years is one capsule every 12 hours using aerolyzer inhaler. And for prevention of exercise-induced bronchospasm, one capsule using aerolyzer inhaler 15 minutes prior to exercise, given on an occasional as-needed basis. And the usual dose using nebulization for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease for adults is 20 micrograms twice a day. For moderol may cause headache and dizziness, insomnia, nervousness, dry mouth, muscle cramps and tremor, and palpitations. Capsules are for inhalation only and should not be swallowed. Do not use a spacer with the inhalation powder and keep the inhaler dry and never wash it. Store medication-filled capsules in their blisters and only remove immediately before using. This medication is not a rescue medication and is not to be used for the treatment of acute or deteriorating asthma. Formoterol is not a substitute for inhaled or oral corticosteroids, so do not stop or reduce the dose of your corticosteroid medication. If asthma symptoms worsen immediately after using this medication, stop using it and inform your healthcare provider immediately. And also contact your healthcare provider if the medication no longer seems to control asthma symptoms or if increasing doses of the short-acting bronchodilator, rescue medicine, are needed, as this may indicate worsening asthma. That's all for this video, subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.